New model alert. We got the mammoth. Hey everyone, we are back. We have been off a week, but we have got a model to show you this week. That's right, guys. We were definitely off a week. Been on the road, did a little triangle. I mean, we, 17 uh, states. 17 states, five days. Now I'm coming back. Yeah. Model number six, number the six. mammoth. I just looked over it. Super cool. I'm fired up. And they got a video, of course, so let's dive right into All it. All right, let's go, guys. A little bit of snow, I see here. A little bit of snow. All right, okay, I'll take it. Changing it up. Wow. Yeah. So th this is it. I mean, the first impression, lime green. We did a little accent. It's like, pow. Yeah. But I love it because it's got, it screams contemporary, but you got a little bit of the grids in the window. That's a, that's a, that's a strange um, supplement to a more contemporary plan, but... Is that is that steel on the exterior there? No, just showing as wood. Okay. You know, painted. Okay. Painted or stained that white, and then of course the natural wood, kind of just to you know give and it a different. And that's a cedar look. up there. Cedar. Okay. Yeah. And you got the Dura rail. The cable rails are really popular. It is an upgrade. Yeah. Double sided fireplace. Double sided fireplace. Wood burner. Crazy windows yeah. here. Yeah, crazy ones. I mean, the the light, as you guys will see from the outside when you look through that glass, the materials go through so what's on the outside actually transitions to the inside which gives it an awesome look it does and you see a couple people on the deck here nice covered area lots of deck space guys i mean yeah. this thing's got what 230 square feet of deck space yeah all built at the factory and so it comes the, just like that ships complete that's awesome so this living room space again that two-sided fireplace have the tv above the fireplace again look at those windows i mean Love look it. at the view to the outside again the ceiling material Transition right off I the like, deck. I like how the, the batten exterior look then gets kind of transferred into the interior with yeah. the ship lap, the horizontal and the vertical. I really like that. Yeah, Beautiful totally. kitchen. Yeah, I got the lime green, so brought a little bit of that accent yep. outside, inside. Space C for three. Mm -hmm. Nice full-size appliances, yep. of course. Got the horseshoe-style kitchen there. Wow, look at that bathroom. Yeah. That's a beautiful bathroom. Yeah, and and everything yeah. about it. And we, we fixed the uh, the fire hydrant. Shower. Okay. Okay. Dead, we so. got the rain. A little the more rain, realistic. Yeah, the more rainforest style. Yeah. That's awesome. I love that bathroom. Beautiful yeah. bathroom. Looks like we have a washer-dryer next Wa to the fridge Washer and dryer behind those doors. Very cool. We bunk got beds. bunk beds. Okay. Yeah. So extra sleeping for two. And that's we have somebody also... hiding in there, too. No, he's not hiding. He's just taking a little nap, yeah. you know. So, But that's a flex space. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful bedroom. Yeah, and this shows, you know, one thing, guys, this wow, shows so you what can happen in a bedroom when we do all that built-in storage. It can yep. change the whole space. It can, and this is a perfect example, and Chris did a great job just slowing the camera down a little bit, but yeah. that built-in, you have plenty of shelving, plenty of hanging space, the TV, I love it. Yeah. And that's a queen-size bed. Queen-size bed. There's a little guy sleeping there. And that could also be a desk area. Um, we could move it to more storage. The washer-dryer could get moved over there. Yeah. So you have a lot of different options with the flex space. Again, full-size appliances. Some more storage underneath those stairs. And I like these stairs because they're they're almost full-size stairs. Yeah. You know, they they're, they got some good width to them. They're almost three feet wide, so that is nice. Yeah. Now, moving upstairs, two bedrooms upstairs. So this is... Two bedrooms in the wall. This is crazy. Okay. And the second I've bedroom seen. you see up here, it can blow your mind. This one right here, what's the head height in this? Just under 60 inches. Okay, just under 60 inches. Yeah. So that gives you some legit space. Yeah. Doesn't feel like a loft as much. I mean, and remember, sixty inches, guys. That is the max it can be to be an RV park model. So we can't really? go any taller than that. Okay. So well, that makes sense then. Yeah. And now going into bedroom three, and guys, this is gonna be crazy. Wow. What you see? In I see a big closet. Huge. Are we gonna go in there? Yeah, we're gonna jump in there. Queen size bed. Yep. Cat. Yeah. Donut pillow. Heck yeah. Book storage. Now look at this. Thing. Wow. Listen, anybody that's ever looking for, hey, I want a walk-in closet in my utopian villa. We now have a solution for you, and here's the best visual aid you'll get anywhere. Yep. I've never seen a tiny home design like this yeah. with full two upstairs bedrooms, yep. separation. Is there doors here? Or yeah, no? pocket doors for each one. Listen, yeah. privacy. You have kids. They're getting into their yeah. preteens. They have their own space. They, That's huge. They find one another. Exactly. Separated. And now, so you have two queen-size beds upstairs. Yep. You got the, the master downstairs and the two bunk beds. So you can sleep eight people. Eight people. And that's not including the couch. Yeah, and then ten with the last couch. resort, buddy stops over, pull out that pull out couch again, our space for two. So. And it's all, I mean, heads matter because how many people you can sleep, this isn't going to be a cheap unit. I can promise you guys this is going to be an expensive house. Yeah, but, but, it, but it is it's one of a kind. It, it is it one is, of a kind. It is one of a kind. It is. It is our, our Denali's been our best seller forever, and it's our most expensive model. Yeah. So yeah. this maybe this will take place with the Denali. It could. It That'd could. be awesome. Because I love it. 
Yeah. The, the deck space is so inviting. Yeah. I mean, you got covered deck walking all the way up to your front door here. So now, guys, this is going to transition. We're going to go from winter and we're going to go to summer. Huh? So it's like a day in Wisconsin, yeah. Colorado, something like that. You just never know. Crazy weather. So all right. And now we got summer. Boom! And like that, we got a hot tub on the front Heck porch. Yeah. Heck yeah! All right, Chris. So I again, see you. Di different space, right? You know, in the winter, you know, you can't do a lot out there, but in the summer, throw that hot tub out there, changes the whole space. It does. And again, the the architectural aesthetics of this model, they're literally mind blowing because. It's so untraditional to, to any architectural style. Yeah. It, all I can say is utopian villa. Yeah. That, that's what it screams. Yeah, it's, now, that's that's metal siding on the exterior. Metal siding. It is not, you know, it's not the cheapest thing to do. To get it to look the way it does, exactly. it really takes some work. Um, but you don't have to do that, right? I mean, you can do hardy plank, LP, smart side, can change up. But that's just the look that we went with for here. I love it. I, I, I love it like that. I'd want mine just like that. Yeah. A little bit of that lime green on the back side. So, again, carrying that all the way around. Beautiful so. model. I mean, I, I'm speechless. I think we're going to get the best response from this. Guys, make sure you're always giving us feedback. We get so much feedback every time. Yeah. Whether you like it or hate it, let us know. Um, or if you have questions or you want us to change something. But let's dive yeah. into the floor plan so a little bit deeper. Here's this view. Here's this exterior view. This is the brochure. This will be up on the website within a week. One week. Um, to be able to download that. Download. But that's what we're looking from the outside in that winter, in that winter view. So I love it. Let's move on to the floor plan. And we're looking at the first floor here. So and we'll just walk through again like we have been doing, kind of that video. We entered right here. It's a 230 square feet of deck space, man. Yeah. This unit's coming in at 850 square feet altogether, guys. Yeah, it's it's just a lot. There's a lot going on here. So, and like you said, Eric, I mean, this deck is it's massive. It's phenomenal. phenomenal. It's huge. So, again, guys, here's all this deck space here. And then moving into this living room right here, we had that two-sided fireplace, had the TV above. And then a couch here. And if I wanted to flip it, say I have this beautiful lake lot and my lake's facing the opposite way. And I, I want my deck like this, but I want the floor plan. Can I flip the plan? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, when we get into that design, it's just all part of that. Okay. It's understanding the lot, the location, what we want to look at. And how much is that going to cost us? $2,000 our design session fee. Okay. So okay. Fantastic. And then moving forward, guys, into the kitchen. Got that horseshoe style kitchen. Seating for three, yep. sink here, and then we got microwave and stove. Yeah. Truly designed for a full-time living situation here, guys. So if it was a vacation home or a rental property, we could definitely go with some more apartment-style appliances yep. and amenities, and you could free up more space for entertainment if you'd like. Yeah, yeah. And then we got fridge, of course, and then here's that washer-dryer mm -hmm. right here. And then moving down this hallway, here's those two bunk beds right here. Yep. And like you said, Eric, you flex space. can change it to whatever whatever someone wants. Desk. Again, you have a nice, beautiful window there, so I, I like it. I mean, there's a lot of different areas. Yeah. And wow. then the bathroom here, full shower, and then standard toilet, and a vanity. So, nice, nice, a nice, nice bathroom. And again, this is under what you're packing into 400 square feet. Yep. It's incredible. First floor conditioned, heated and cooled space must be under 400 in order for us to be RVI certified park model, aka tiny home, right? Yep. And then working into this master bedroom, again, it's all storage here. Pocket door and coming in. storage here and storage here. Queen yeah. size bed. Crazy storage in there. Yeah. Love it. Then moving up to this loft space here, guys. Blew my mind. That's yeah. Honestly, this. you guys, show me another plan. If you find another plan that has a loft like this with a walk-in closet like that, yeah. you send it to us right away because I've never seen something like yeah, this. This is innovation at its finest. You and yeah. Chris killed it. Yeah, awesome. This bedroom too here, queen bed again, had some storage shelves both sides there. Pocket door, both bedrooms again for that privacy. Yep. And then queen size bed here for bedroom three. Yep. And then all that storage that you guys Whatever saw. Whatever you want. Now, if I wanted to open that up, I could just tear the walls down. I could yeah, just I mean, if you wanted all one space up there, you could. Okay. Definitely possible. Absolutely. Sweet. I Absolutely. love it. So that's it, guys. Awesome, man. Well, I love this model. Hands down, the Mammoth is way up there towards yeah. number one, guys. I'm excited for next week. See what to come on that. Yeah. Um, new new model changing up again this week. Um, keep changing up. I mean, that's that's the goal of this. So keep yeah. you guys, you know, the feedback has been fantastic as well. So keep that yeah. coming, guys. You, you guys didn't like the, the the travel trailer very much. No. We'll give you that feedback. So no. we'll stick to what we're good at. But thanks so much for following, guys. Give us your feedback. Get excited for next week and have a good rest of your day. See you later, guys. Take care.